Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's balance this combustion reaction for heptane. So we have seven carbons, we have 16 hydrogens and two oxygens on the reactant side. And over here on the products, we have one carbon, we have two hydrogens, and we have two oxygens. But remember, we have to count that oxygen atom with water, so that's another one. So we have a total of three oxygen atoms on the product side. Let's leave the oxygens to last. Let's fix our carbons and hydrogens first. Carbons, all we have to do is put a 7 in front of the CO2. So now we have 1 times 7, and we have 7 carbons on each side. And for the hydrogens, I have 16 on the left, on the reactants, only 2 on the right. So why don't we put an 8 in front of the water, 8 times 2, that equals 16. So now our carbons are hydrogens, they're both balanced. The oxygen's a little more challenging. Let's recalculate what we have for the oxygens on the right, on the product side. So with the carbon dioxide, we have seven times two, we have 14, and then the water, we have eight times one, that's eight there, for a total of 22 oxygen atoms on the reactants. So now we have 22 oxygens and only two here on the reactant side. If we multiply 2 times 11, that gives us 22. So let's just put 11 in front of the oxygen, and we're done balancing this combustion reaction. The coefficients, 1, 11, 7, and 8. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.